Hey, Mike from Get VoIP. You might remember my last video where I set business rules, hours, and recordings. So this is the next natural step in that process. Now that you've set your business hours and recordings, setting up your auto attendant so that when your customers call, they can key into the right place. So you, again, you're going to jump into your account manager. From the home screen of the account manager, you're going to click phone system. And on the left side, auto attendant. Okay, so you should see that your auto attendant profile show up. I only have one at the moment. The status is currently turned off. I'm not going to turn it on just yet. I'm going to fine tune my settings first. So you're going to click edit. And you'll see all these submenus come up just to make sure you're dealing with the right extension and the right business. I am. This actually is incorrect, so let me go ahead and change that now. We are in New York. Okay. So once that's set, as I explained before, I've already set my business hours to be 8 to 5, and everything else is considered after hours. I don't have to define those. The system's very intuitive, and it picks up on that. So let me go back to the next drop-down, which is business hours, rules, and recordings. This is where you're going to set when people call in what they're going to hear, whether it be your voice, whether it be an uploaded recording, whether you hire a professional actor. Uh, here you can get Alec Baldwin nowadays for a, a relatively low price, but I'm not going to get too much into that. And basically, you're going to set up this recording here, and then you're going to set in your, your keypad settings. It might seem a little intimidating or complex at first, but it's very, very simple. And I'll show you how to do it right now. Alright, so what I did was I set up a little script here that I'm going to read off of when I create my recording. So let me go ahead and do that right now. I want a recording of my own voice, so I'm going to go to Record Recording. And you'll see this prompt where you can go ahead and enter a number to be called on. So you can just go ahead and speak in your recording from there. Alright, so once you've entered a number that's most convenient for you, you can go ahead and click Start Recording. And here I'm almost instantly getting a call from 8x8. Welcome to the 8x8 IVR recording service. To record a new IVR message, please press 1. To review a current customized IVR message, press 2. To exit, press 3. You're going to want to press 1. At the tone, please record your new IVR message and then press pound when finished. Welcome to GetVoip.com, VoIP intelligence delivered by VoIP experts. Okay, and you'll get a prompt that the message was saved, and you can click Done Recording. Alright, so I set up a very basic auto attendant menu here. Uh, it's just me, the big boss man, editor-in-chief, and key three would be to repeat the menu. You can put in a little description if you forget exactly what you set each as. Um, I have these set to transfer in the extension. Another one I wanted to go over to, which is great, you can transfer to external numbers. Let's say you had a partner or a vendor or somebody that could you know, handle a certain circumstance or a matter of business a little better than you could. You can throw in their number right here and have your customers key in for that, which would be you know, three or four, obviously before repeating the menu. So that's it. After you've done setting this up, you can go to Test Menu enter a phone number and just like before where they dialed into me to create a recording it'll call into you and it'll basically simulate what your customer hears when they call in so if you had an issue here and there in your auto attendant menu this helps you narrow it down and you can jump right back in here and tweak these a little bit to make it perfect and of course you're going to want it perfect by the time you're done this system allows you to do it and that's it. That's how you set up your auto attendant menus. I didn't get too detailed because obviously it can get a little cluttered here and it takes a lot of fine tuning and patience to create the exact phone system that you would like. This is just more or less a rubric, a, a very basic example of how to get some people started with this. Maybe it was also double value in that it gave people a good look at the back end here if they were thinking about subscribing to 8x8 and wanted to know exactly what they were in for. So this has been Mike from GetVoip.com. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Take care.